Hey guys and welcome to my Soul Sword deck profile and this is going to be post Burst of Destiny. Obviously Burst of Destiny just recently released and Soul Swords are going to be one of the top meta decks of the format. And this Soul Sword deck profile is going to be just the regular Soul Sword version with the Destiny Hero package and just the very bare minimal Tenyi package. And there's some new interactions and stuff I'd like to go over as well. So basically you are playing like the shooting riser dragon package in the extra deck so basically what this package allows you to do is in the mirror match which you will see quite a lot you can actually use a riser dragon to go ahead and no token collector from your deck like after you side it out and then you can just mill it and then you can just stop your opponent and you can also use uh, Tai's ability to mill Vishuda from your deck so that's another thing you can do while going second to break board so you can do either of those things or you can do both of those things they really help the combo and if you want to play against token collector which is also one of the deck's main weaknesses you can just use talents to steal your opponent's token collector go into baguska stall a turn and then you can go into zeus the following turn and then just play like that and you can also use stuff like cross out or fusion destiny to play around it as well fusion destiny just gives you an extra enforcer so enforcer is a negate it's something it's better than nothing and that's how you would play against cross out the extra deck you have like baxia and ruddy rose dragon and stuff like that to get rid of a uh, token collector from the side deck after you got rid of it from the field and you can also include shen shen in the deck if you'd like it's another additional tech the deck can run and the side deck you have stuff like troll droplets um and a bunch of going second cards so you want, when you're going uh in the second game you can side in all of your going second cards and just play like that and then the game after you can side in your going first cards again so you have stuff like imperial order anti-spell and just droplets just good going second or first so that's also there in the side deck and droll just great against most of the meta decks right now so this is going to be the main combo you will see most of the time and you can achieve this very consistently and it's mainly going to be just your uh, monster negate omni negate and some other stuff depending on what's on your hand you could also have two pops if you have the correct cards in your hand like in this scenario uh, you can search your uh, blackout and you have two extra pops and you can have stuff like imperm and stuff in hand and it just really depends you could even have an extra uh, phoenix uh, enforcer so everything just depends on your hand and also it's not really bad to set cross out as well because like every deck is going to be playing fusion destiny and it might be worth setting cross out if you didn't use it just to negate those cards and you might even be in a mirror match so that's another thing to keep in mind thank you so much for watching and i'll see you in the next video